who says it's not fun to spin out on ice? For this bunch of pedal pushers, nothing could be more fun than some fast laps around the rink on their motorless machines. It's beat the clock or get clocked in the ice bike races. It's uh, fantastic. This gives a lot of drilling. These are members of the Human Powered Transportation Association. Our members range in age from very young to you know middle-aged and older. We don't discriminate there. They're all different backgrounds. They're all different physical abilities. I like it when I come into the finish line, everyone's cheering. Their mission, to turn heads and a few pedals on the ice with these human-powered machines. We heard about some groups in the northern states that were racing on frozen lakes. And again, that kind of gave us the idea to do it here. But we seem to be the only ones doing it on an indoor rink. The group developed three races for their indoor ice event. The first is the slalom. Racers, we're going to set up for the slaloms now. On your mark, get set, go! The rider rides between pylons and then returns, and it's the fastest time on that. It tests the agility of the machine, the balance of the rider, the braking ability of the vehicle, and of course, the endurance of the person's body so they can get back as quickly as they can. Then there's the two lap pursuit. I guess my favorite race would be the, the pursuit. We start off with two riders, one on each side of the ring. And when the timer goes, they race as fast as they can around the two laps. They try to basically catch up to each other, but it doesn't happen within two laps usually. We're gonna set up for the 10 minute lap races. The first two races set the stage for the biggie the 10 minute endurance lap race. We put up to five races on the ice at one starting line. When the buzzer goes, they race as fast as they can within the 10 minutes to accumulate as many laps as possible. And it is an endurance race because as with most races, you start off fast in the beginning, doesn't mean you're gonna be fast at the end. If anyone knows endurance, it's Richard Dominic. If they're endurance, it's probably the best staff because um, I ride everywhere and I try to keep up with traffic, either on a two-wheel or a three-wheel. All of them have custom-built contraptions. Our members are very creative people, and they find many uses for many parts. Some designs are quite sophisticated. One racer would call the Python with one wheel up front, one blade in the back, and technically that would, should be the fastest machine in the future because it is so light, it is so agile, and it gives the rider incredible control. Larry Bowden has a background in race cars and boat building and turned to designing racing trikes when he retired. This particular trike is just a basic trike, all mild steel, new components. The blades are uh, from hockey skates. I built uh, aluminum billet holders for them just to uh, dress it up a little bit. And this particular uh, trike is one of the fastest here. Bob Beachy might claim his own in the top five. The streamlined machine is made of recycled bicycle parts and old exercise equipment. He's got modified skate blades on the front, sharpened to a 45 degree point. And that seems to work quite well for traction and returns. Like most of the racers, he's got studs in his tires. I've shortened the studs. Go! Because they found with the longer studs, they're actually creating more friction on the ice and slowing us down. So by going through a, a shorter tire, or sorry, shorter stud, we were able to get more speed, up to about five kilometers per hour. He's got a comfortable seat and a seat belt. We had to install the seat belt to keep us on the seat in the turns because we found with the traction of the front blades, we were pulling such high G's in the corners, we were being slid off the, the seat. Bob says we because he shares the Blade Runner and the racing with his girlfriend, Tina Kwasniak. You might notice that um, I wear a headset, and I do that because Bob coaches me. Tight to the corner, tight to the corner. That's it. Watch out the pylons. Keep going. Go, 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 go. He's actually telling me to stay tight to the corners and someone's coming up beside me. Be careful. Stay tight. And the idea is to stay tight around the pylons so that you can you actually get your most speed coming around the corners. The ice is a great equalizer. Now we can have someone who's in great physical shape, but if the ice bike that he built isn't the best in tune or the best design, he won't win. The group's long-term goal is to make ice bike racing an Olympic sport. It's a human-powered sport with a, a cyclist on a machine 
The machines can be one designed for the Olympics. The course that we use can be adapted to the Olympics, the slalom, the pursuit, and the endurance oval. So now, as they're the only ones in the world doing this event, they're happy with personal bests. Everything's getting faster and more exciting. And just, it's so energizing for the body. The adrenaline rush is coming back. I haven't felt in so long. It's just such a pleasure to race these machines.